So hello and welcome back. Now today we're going to try and see if we can get this chainsaw running. Well not today, over the next two or three weeks because there's a couple of bits to need and uh, Royal Mail are still on strike a few days so it might take a while for the parts to come. But um, yeah we're going to have a quick look at it anyway so let me show you what we've got. So I bought this chainsaw for £10 off Facebook Marketplace, a place called Market Deeping which is 15 minutes drive for me. Assembled in Mexico. Oh. Yeah. Not quite sure what year this one is. 38cc. It's nearly got a bigger engine on it than that little moped I've done. Um, yeah. Oh. 1997. Oh, it's quite old. It's older than I thought it was. <coughs> now. It looks in quite good order. The chain looks a bit loose, mine is. Now, <coughs> excuse me, I've had a bit of a cold, so I've been clogged up a minute. So basically, why I bought this, uh, because I saw it for a tenner, and I thought, it was spares repair, and I thought, I fancy trying to get it to go. Now, the guys who got it said he, he's, he got it off his father-in-law ten years ago, and it's sat in his shed ever since, and he's never moved. Now, as you can see, the uh, primer bulb, or button, there's actually a proper name for that but I can't remember, uh, it's completely, it looks like something's eaten it, or it's, you know, um, so I do need a primer bulb, uh, now it does, I don't know if this is going to let me show you, bear with me, now it does, oh, it's a bit hard on the truck, have good compression, so that's a good sign. Now I have noticed the, uh, I don't know if you can see it very well, but there is actually fuel in there and it smells really bad. <laughs> um, it smells like when we took it out of that Jaguar um, that had been stood there for like 30 years and not moved. It smells like that. So the fuel's gone off. Um, I'm, so it needs the carb really giving it a quick blow out and clean. It needs one of these. Now I'm presuming I can get one of these off the internet. Now, whether you have to buy the whole thing or you just buy the rubber dome, I'm not quite sure. Um, is there any oil in it for the chain? I don't know what sort of oil to use for this chain. I imagine it's a specific, I can't even say it now, specific sort. Oh, yeah. Looks like there's nothing in there either. All right. So, the other thing as well is, it's a bit wobbly. I, now, I know it's meant to wobble a bit because it stops anti, what's that? Anti-vibration, conformatic, or conformac. I think it sounds better if it's conformatic, you know, but, but yeah, so uh, this is what we've got. So I'm gonna actually try and get it to run. Now, whether I can get it run today, I can probably pour some petrol down the carb, um, but I don't know if I've got any two stroke. Plus, uh, I'm not sure I'm going to get time today, so we'll have to wait. So, like I say, you can see it's never, it's not been apart for years. This, you know, it's not, it's not done anything. Look at the state of it. It's just stood for years in a shed. But for a tenner, yeah, you can't beat it for a tenner. So we're going to, like I say, we'll see if we can get it going. We'll give it a clean while we're doing it as well. Look at that. Yeah, and get it looking, try and get it as new looking as possible. So, let's go. So I've undone the screws now. What are we going to find under here? Now this is always a bit of a moment. Oh. Oh. There's no air filter. Um. I presume there's meant to be one. Uh, hang on a minute. Just in, just, let's just check I'm not going crazy. It's not under here, is it? I can't see it. This looks to me like it's missing. Oh dear. I haven't got no foam either. Oh no. We may have to actually buy one. Oh. Oh. Well, that's different. I thought there'd be an air filter, but uh, it looks like it, there's not. So either somebody's had a problem with this and had it apart before. But looking at it, it doesn't really look like it's been apart. Mm, them screws don't look like it doesn't look like it's been apart anytime soon. Hmm. I mean, it's quite clean in the carb, isn't it? 
Um, let's like say. You've really got to take this all out and check the fuel lines because I bet I wonder if they're. Oh, yeah, the fuel lines have gone a bit hard. Might have to put some new fuel lines in it. But that's no real biggie. Um, but no. So I've just took this cover off. It's just four bolts. Yeah. This is absolutely. Look. We have to clean all that out. Um, so what I'm going to actually do is take this. Now, watch a YouTube video. Someone else. <laughs> take this cover off. So basically there's a bolt here, there's one there. You've got to take this little cap off for the oil. Um, there's two on the back of this handle here. Um, I think there's one there. I'm not sure about anymore. But anyway, uh, we'll have to have a look, but this side panel comes off. Um, now, why I'm going to take this off is because I think, I'm trying to get it out of there, I don't want to break it. Um, plus I want to check the fuel lines um, because I think the fuel lines are mainly want replacing they look very old and it, when you touch them they feel really hard like brittle but i don't know we'll find out so there's about 100 bolts and screws in this thing um i've undone those to get this cover off the fuel lines don't look too bad to be fair they're just discolored um there's no problems i can see there it just ones with hell of a clean in here um there's the primer bulb um so what I'm going to do is I might actually take the pump bulb off now and we'll see if we can separate it. So uh, yeah, let's see. So if you look at, oh, this thing goes sharp very well. Look, there's a pipe longer and one shorter, you see? You see the rubber pipe, there's a little bit of black there, that one's longer. The longer pipe goes back into the tank. The This one, Short one's coming from the carb. Now this looks, uh, now I'm hoping this comes apart, this bulb. Um, let's have a look, shall we? Now there does appear to be an edge. So maybe it clips in, I don't know. Let's uh, find out. This primer bulb is so well glued in there that I've actually knackered it up, I think, nearly getting it out. Look, I'll give that some hammer. And I've, I've pulled the bulb out. I'm still not getting out. So I've actually just... I read on the back where it says made in China. Um, I thought this was made in the US, you know, Mexico or something. Not, you know, American, not not made in China. But anyway, um, I've ordered under the primer bulb altogether, the whole thing. Um, it's like three pounds. So, yeah, not saying. And then um, we'll clean the tank. We'll clean the fuel out. We'll clean all this naffness off here. Um, I've ordered an air filter because I've got no foam, so it was like three pounds as well. So, like I say, if we can get it all running and nice for like less than 20 quid, I think that's uh not bad. So, uh, yeah, so I will be back in one moment, and this will be technically the next day, yeah. So, uh, yeah, so I'm actually going to put some of this back together again now. Uh, I have actually just cleaned it a bit. Just got some of the grime out of it. This was really bad. Um, now, where's it gone? Hang on. I decided to see if this primer came apart. Well, that, wow. I've heated it. I've tried to pull it apart. I've, I've tried everything. Um, I even got a dome here for it. Look at this, I've even got a new dome, which is the right size, but I cannot, for the life of me, Get this off without knackering it up more. So, I've actually ordered a whole new thing for three pounds. So, we can't do that yet. Now, what I'm gonna do now is actually put some of it back together again. So I've cleaned this here out. So I'm gonna just, like I say, put the cover back on all the bits. We're gonna take the carb out um, and clean and blow all that out. And there is some old petrol in here, so we're gonna take that out as well. I just want to get some of it put back together again so we don't lose anything, you know. Um, and to be honest, there's no need for some of it to be apart now. Because this actually, when you put the pipes in, you just clip it back in. And I reckon I can do it. I reckon I can do it from that side if I take this carb out. Um, so, yeah, let's get it uh, put back together. So, unfortunately, I can't show you, but I've actually uh, just checked it's got a spark on it. It wasn't sparking, and then I realised... I turn it was still off. <laughs> yeah, there's a switch here. 
Yeah, but it does spark. I can't actually show you. It's a bit hard to do it because you have to, you know, it's not a lot of room here. But it does spark, so we have got sparks. So the next thing is to uh, drain this petrol out and clean the carb. So to be fair, the petrol was quite clean, but it's sort of gone orange. <sighs> that does smell, that does. So it's gone, I mean, I know it's two stroke, but uh, orange. I don't know. I think it might have been probably red once. I don't know. If anyone knows, let us know. Um, but that does smell. But there's not a lot of dirt in it, though, so we've done well there. Look at that. And there is actually a filter in this tank as well. Uh, but what I have found in the tank is this that used to be attached there. So we might just uh, solder that back on. We're just letting it, I'm leaving the cap off, let it evaporate and that. And um, then we're going to take, like I say, take the carb off and blow it out because. Uh, it's probably got stale fuel in there, bits of dirt, and uh, we give it a clean. But like I say, if we take the carb out, we should be able to get that button in. Um, might be a bit fiddly, but we should be able to manage it. Uh, but yeah, look, it looks a lot better with the clean, doesn't it? I did tighten the blade up as well. I didn't show that, but I did tighten it up. Because it was really loose. I don't think it was meant to be that loose. No expert on this, but yeah. So, um, good. So if you notice with this, look, it's just soldered on. It's just melted to it. So I've just re-melted it back. So actually, that's, uh, we've got that back on it now. <laughs> that's good. So it's looking a bit like it's never been cleaned. So we're actually going to check these diaphragms as well. Um, see it's very oily residue in there. Yeah, petrol smells old. So what we're doing is we're just going to, I don't know if it's just, I don't know if I pulled it out. I don't know. But, um, yeah. Uh, let's take a look. Well, in my opinion, that diaphragm looks perfect. Um, so let's have a look at the other one. That diaphragm doesn't look too bad either. So, um, yeah, we'll put it back together again. I've just blew it out of the airline anyway. It looks nice and clean in there, to be fair. So realistically, that didn't take a lot of cleaning. Um, I've just cleaned it all out in here as well. Uh, there's no point in putting it back together again if you're not going to clean it. So what we're going to do now is we're a bit um, stuffed at the minute because we need the um, primer bulb. Okay. So I can't remember which way it goes around, but I've took a photo. But um, like I said, the other pipes in there, it might be a bit fiddly putting one of the pipes on, but it should be all right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bolt it back together again, just so we don't lose anything. Um, and also we're waiting for the air filter because I haven't got no foam. So I said, but I'll just give that all a clean quickly. But yeah, good. Hopefully we get this done, put some fuel in it, put some chain oil in it and off we go. So what I've done is I've just put the pipe. So this is the one from the carburetor, it goes on the short. But that's how it was anyway. Uh, and the other one goes on the tank. Now the other one's gonna be a bit of an awkward thing to get on, but you should be able to get on with the pair of pliers if you take the carb off quickly again. Should be nice and easy, but I've just put that on there just so we know. But that, that separating that one, I mean, I've have separated these before and they're not too bad, but this one's terrible. I don't know what it is, I've heated them before, I have changed them, but this one's absolutely nightmare. So, like I say, I've just ordered a new one that clips in. Um, so we'll just pop that in there for now. Um, okay, and like I say, we'll be back in a minute. When the bits turn up, that is. So, unfortunately, because I had no foam, I've had to buy one. Um, Intergarden. So, yeah, it wasn't expensive. It was like two or three pounds. Um, but I still haven't got the bulb yet here. So, um, we're still waiting. Unfortunately, there's no mail now for two days. But, um, yeah, like I say, I, may, I haven't got no petrol. I might try and pour some down the carb. I'm going to have a look, see if we've got any two-stroke. I can just, I don't know if it's, you know, it's only just to see if it will go, you know, just fire up. Um, but let me have a look. So I've just found a little bit. I've just poured it down the carb. So let's see if it will just fire up. Right, let's just see if it will fire up. Let's take that off so we don't break it. Like that. So choke on. There we go. Yeah, I think that's it. Oh, <laughs> oh hang on.
Well, that's a good sign. It means it'll go. So yeah, perfect. So I've actually ordered a new mixing bo bottle um, because this is, is it 40 to one? Yeah. So I've ordered a new mixing bottle because I haven't actually got one. Um, I've had two or three little two-stroke things and I've never had a mixing bowl. So um, I've ordered one of those and some oil. I've actually got some chain oil coming as well because I haven't got any of that. Um, but we know it'll go now, so that's good. Um, so as soon as we get the bulb, we can get that going. And yeah, the air filter fits good. Perfect, in fact. And then just give it a wipe over her and then we'll give it a go, see if it cuts all right. So, a new primer bulb has come, look at that. Oh, sounds like some kind of bird call, doesn't it? So, oh, it looks a good fit. Yes. So let's uh, get it on. So there's the primer bulb, look at that. Um, so how I remembered which way around it was, there's a long and short, see? Yeah, so the short one went on the curb. Now that's how it was. So I've put it in, yeah, so there's a short one. So I've just got to pop it in and we're done. So like I said, I, took, I didn't take the carb out, I've just unscrewed it pretty much. So yeah, that's all good. So if I press that, I don't know if it's gonna show up on here, hang on. There is still a bit of old fuel in here, so I don't do it too much. I'll pump too much about, oh, bear with me. But it's actually working. See it? Oh, there you go. We don't want to do it too much because that's old fuel, but it's there's not next to no fuel left in this. It's just what's left in the real bottom that you can't get out. So yeah, we're ready to put some petrol in now and give it a go. So let me get this all put back together. Um, nice, easy. It's only took, me, only took me about five seconds to take it apart. So uh, yeah. So we've got the new mixing bottle chain oil and two-stroke oil so um i don't actually really dad's got some but i thought i'd get i'm always buying something chainsaws and bits and bobs so i thought we'll get some of my own um so yeah this is actually i don't know if it's going to show up on that it's actually 40 to 1. i don't know if it's, you can see it on there if i turn it a bit hang on 40 to 1 yeah so that means that much petrol and that much oil. So, uh, let's get going. I don't actually know how old this petrol is in here, but it smells all right, it looks all right. Now, when I bought one of these Hayes lawnmowers, I went around and bought it for 30 quid. It could be the handbooks and everything from new. The guy also gave me that oil, and he gave me a can full of petrol with it as well. And I, I, I moved this out of the way, and he goes, oh, you can have that as well. So, this is actually three quarter full, so I've got a nice can as well. So, there we go. There's petrol mark so we've got uh we've just got to pour the oil in now until it's 40 to 1 yeah so now we're full of chain oil and petrol so there's only one thing to do now take that off does the primer ball work oh look at that So right, there seems a bit of air in there, but there we go. Let's do one more time. Oh, that's better. I, I think it was a bit of back air. So yeah, let's uh, see if it'll go. So there you go, it's running. Nice, yeah.
I think that's good for a tenner. Yeah, not bad. So a bit of the video you haven't seen is because it's lost, unfortunately. My phone has broken and I've now got this new phone. Um, but I actually had to replace the fuel lines in the end because uh, the bar oil one, uh, the pipe on that was hard. Um, and actually it was leaking because it wasn't sealing in the tank. Uh, so I changed that one. And also a few days later, I pressed the primer bulb and it one of the petrol lines actually split. Um, so I decided to replace all the petrol lines as well, which is like three bits that go around the circle. But unfortunately, there's no video to that because it was all on the phone when it broke. Uh, same as what happened with the lawnmower. Uh, I lost some of that as well. But uh, but yeah, for a tenner, I mean, I spent like, oh, I think the primer bulb was like £2.20 or something. And the fuel lines were like £4 for all of them. And uh, what else did we change? I'm trying to think what I've done on it now. Um, what else? Oh, the air filter, that's the one. I couldn't think what I'd done to it then. Uh, the air filter was like three pounds. So let's be honest, it's less than 20 quid for it to repair it, uh, including buying. So I don't think that's bad at all. You know what I mean? That's pretty good. So uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed that one. And I will see you all very soon uh, with a new video. And I hope you all have a great weekend.